Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill drag daily challenge using Python programming language. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the integer n from the user and then we must print the count of integers from 1 to n that is we have to iterate a loop then we must convert these integers to binary representation and the binary representation having their first bit as 1 if they are going to have their first bit as 1 we must increment the count now they also given a note that the number of bits to consider to find the first bit is the number of bits in the binary representation of n that is the length of binary representation of n must be equal to the length of binary representation of other numbers also so we must convert the binary representation of other numbers to the length of the binary representation of n so how can we do that we'll do that by adding zeros at, at the numbers so we pack so we must pad extra zeros if the length is lesser than the binary representation of n. Yes. So let us consider an example. This is our test case. Here n is 10. We have iterated a loop. Then we got from 1 to 10. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then up to 10. Now we will find the length of n that is length of 10 in the binary representation so the length of binary representation of n in our test case the length of binary representation of 10 is 4 so we have to convert the length of other numbers in binary representation to 4 so we will pack zeros accordingly so for number 1 we will pass the zeros at the starting that is 0 0 0 and here we have 2 as length so we will have 2 zeros here also 2 zeros here it is 3 so 1 0 so now the length of binary representation of n is equal to the length of binary representation of every numbers from 1 to n so we are checking for the uh, first bit to be 1 so we will get 8 9 10 having the first bit as 1 so we have three numbers so the output will be now we will consider our next test case where our n is 16 now the binary representation of 16 is 1 followed by four zeros that is the length would be 5 now we have to convert the binary representation of the other numbers to the length of this n so we must pack zeros so here we have four zeros and here three here three so now we can clearly see that every binary representation of the numbers having the first bit as 0 but we are going to check for the first bit to be 1. So where it is? It is present at the binary representation of the n itself. So our count will be incremented by 1. So our output will be 1 itself. Now let us understand the logic stepwise. Step 1, first we are going to find the length of the binary representation of n n then step 2 we have to iterate a loop from 1 to n then we have to convert them to the binary representation then step 3 we have to convert them to the binary representation or binary form and check for the length so if length 
of a binary representation of is equal to the length of binary representation of n and if the first bit in the binary representation is 1 then we are going to increment count by 1. Let us implement our program. First we will get our inputs the integer n from the user then we will initialize the binary of n to represent n in binary form and we will use a slice operator in order to eliminate the prefix 0b followed by some numbers 1010 so in order to avoid 0b we use a slice operator then we will initialize the standard length that is the length of binary representation of n length of binary of n then we will initialize the count equal to 0 now for val in range 1 comma n plus 1 which is exclusive then we'll find the binary representation for the numbers bin of val then we'll again use the slice operator then now we are going to apply our conditions that is if len of binary of val is equal to equal to the standard length so if this condition satisfied we don't want to add zeros for every numbers in the binary representation so if they are not equal then we are going to pad zeros at every number from 1 to n in the binary representation to make them equal also our other condition is we have to get the first bit as 1 so binary of val the index is 0 is equal to 1 then we are going to increment the count by 1 now we will print the count here it is equal to equal to now let us execute our program our input is 10 and we have got the output as 3 because in 8 9 and 10 we will have the first bit as 1 and also their length is equal to the length of binary representation of n now for check for our next example here input is 16 and the output is 1 that is only the binary representation of 16 satisfy our condition hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you in next video